Hey guys, Patrick Burke here with the B Team in Niagara with Magar Realty. Uh, just coming to you with a, uh, a quick market update. Now in previous months we've done sort of 60, 90 day reviews just to give you some statistics on sale price and year over year sales, that sort of thing. I think we all get the point that, uh, that sales are up, average sale price is up, demand is up. Um, so I'm not going to go through that. We are going to have numbers um, show up here just to give you some general background. But I just wanted to talk to you quick about what's going what's going on out there in the, in the grand scheme. Um, think about when you throw a pebble in, in the water and you get the center point and everything branches out from there. If you look at the GTA as that, that center hub uh, and you look on the east side of Toronto. So you look at Ajax and Pickering and, and Whitby and Oshawa. And, and as that ripple goes out. And then you look north all the way up to Barrie. Um, you look west, so you have Oakville, Mississauga, Burlington, Hamilton, uh, Stony Creek. So what really has happened is that ripple has slowly but surely crept our way and it is here. Um, we started to see as an industry about three or four years ago, maybe five years ago, people were moving to Niagara from even just Stony Creek because they were pocketing, you know, pocketing eighty, a hundred thousand dollars and going from there and coming here. And we started to say, well, you know, because we, we heard about these, you know, multiple offers and delayed presentation of offers up that way, but it wasn't really here yet on a grand scale. And really, what happened is almost instantaneously about. Uh, you know, January, February, March of last year, we, we started to see that that happen almost instantaneously. So now we've got we've got multiple offers. We have you know 12 buyers for every house and uh, 20, 30, 40 showings for a listing. Uh, not all the time, mind you, but we still you know we're seeing that much more than we ever did. And with that, there seems to be or there is a lot of resistance. We see it on social media. You know, when a house sells, and and the, the locals are a little bit restless, and rightfully so. It, it is such a huge shift. You know, for the last 15, 20 years, uh, look at uh, a lot of municipalities in, in the region. There was single-digit growth. You know, two, three, four, five percent rate of inflation kind of percentage increase in prices. The last time we had double-digit increases was back in uh, 2005, 2006, when we had 10 and 11 percent increases. But other than that, we've seen this this single-digit growth for years. So now here we are in 2017. And we've seen 25, 26, 28 percent year-over-year growth, which just doesn't happen. So it's such a massive change from what we expect. So you add that in there. You also have uh, the way you sell, the way you go from house to house or A to B is just so totally different. Um, you know, we went from days in the market average of 40, 42, 45 days in the market, and now we have. 10, 12, 14, 17 days in the market. So the house, the, the sign is up, the sign is down. Um, as opposed to before, you had all these listings and all this long arc of, of how long it took them to sell. And now it's, you know, it's a third or, or a quarter of the time. So that's just a huge shift and something that I think, well, obviously we are still getting used to because it, it is pretty frantic out there. But just, I know there's frustration out there, um, but the fact of the matter is, is, is you know, for years, Niagara, we sort of had this little, it's our sandbox mentality, it's our silo almost, uh, where, you know, you bought and you sold in the same area, you moved here, you moved there. Yes, there was out-of-town buyers, but but not many, and for the most part, we, we were in this quasi-closed system. That day is done, the ship has sailed, and, and now, frankly, that the word is out and, and people are interested in Niagara and they're moving down here. We've seen reports where we're now on the radar, you know, as these rankings, the top 10 places to go, top 20 places to go. So, you know, we are, it's just a new reality. All markets change. Uh, this market is sure to change as well. But uh, the, the days of, uh, of, you know, the way houses are, are bought and sold has changed and it may be this way for the foreseeable future. Um, really is a strategy kind of a market you need to have an idea of what you're doing how you're going to get into it how you're going to get out of it there is ways to go from A to B and do so in an economically uh, sound way we've had some clients feel like they're trapped in their house but then we sit down and we go through the numbers and show them how you can actually still move and do well in this market and uh, then there's this sort of uh, aha moment but there is work you know, and, and strategy involved in, in doing it. That's what we're here for, or if you have a realtor you work with, uh, feel free to reach out to, to him or her as well. Um, I hope this helps. hope those numbers helped. If you ever want to chat about your house or the market in general, we're here anytime, all the time, every time. 
so to speak. Uh, so yeah, give us a call anytime. We, we look forward to hearing from you. Otherwise, you can subscribe uh, on our YouTube channel or to our blogs or whichever you like. Uh, we're here whenever you need us. Alrighty, thanks very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi. Do you like to waste company time on social media? Good news. We're all over it. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube.